Okay, here we have a cool little piece of NASA history. Um, this is the rudder speed brake actuator from the space shuttles. This unit would be in the tail fin assembly of the, of the shuttle here. And there's four of them going up vertically. And their main purpose is to move the rudder. And it's a split rudder system. So you apply power, rotational power, to the shaft on the end, and it moves these clevises right here. And so that would be connected to arms, and that would in turn move uh, the rudders back and forth. And there's actually two separate systems on it. There's the shaft on this end, and then a shaft on the other end. So this shaft moves these clevises here, and that shaft moves these clevises here. And there was a power drive unit in the bottom, which would provide the rotational power to these four actuators. There's two different size actuators. This is the, this is the smaller one, and this would be, I believe this was up higher, and then the other ones are maybe 25% larger than this one, and they were down here lower. So this particular unit is the qualification unit. So this is what they used um, during testing while they were developing the shuttle. After, after uh, maybe 2003 or 2004, they were doing routine maintenance on the shuttle and they noticed a little corrosion on the exterior of um, some of these actuators in the Discovery shuttle. They took these out and then wanted to open them up to make sure they were okay and then they were a little surprised to find uh, more corrosion inside as well as unusual wear and then actually one of the four had some gears installed upside down and that's kind of that's what they look like inside so apparently one of these gears was upside down so then they had to pull them out of all the shuttles and look at all of them and then they had to order new ones and there was obviously a lead time you know there's always a lead time to have that so they got them from I think Hamilton Sunstrand and they had to, I think they had to salvage parts out of some of them to make good ones. And in the meantime, we had two of them here sitting on our shelf because we've had these since, I think, 99. So here, I'll just put some, we just put a, just a coupler on here just to hook some rotational power up here with a drill just to show what it does. And you can see it's only moving this ring here in relation to this here. 